Hey, what is up guys? Today I am bringing you a Void Warlock build that will almost give you your entire grenade back each time you use it. And this requires no armor charges, no orbs of power, just you and your grenade. This build also gets better and better the harder content you do, which is very unique as not many builds in the entire game work like this, since most builds tend to become worse and drop off in harder content. Also, with the Vortex Grenade changes that happened this season, this build became even stronger. The bread and butter of this build is the Controverse Holds, an extremely easy to use and very effective exotic that will allow you to dominate hardcore content. I mean, there is a reason why players like Esoteric use it when doing extremely hard content like Solo Master Nightfalls. The reason why that happens is because the Controverse Holds drastically increase your grenade recharge rate whenever you hit an enemy with your grenade. This effect has a 4 second cooldown between activations. This means that if your enemies have enough health to survive your vortex grenade for 4 seconds, the exotic will activate a second time, which will provide you with even more grenade energy. For example, using my build, if you throw your grenade at a normal enemy that dies quite fast, you will get around 50-60% to grenade energy back, because the exotic will only activate once. But if you throw your grenade at a tougher enemy, you will get more grenade energy because the exotic will activate twice. This sole reason is why the controverse holds are such a popular exotic for very hard content, especially solo. Just make sure that you charge up your grenade before throwing it, or else the exotic won't work. However, this synergy wouldn't be nearly as strong if it wasn't for the amazing perks that come with the Void subclass. We have three very important fragments that go hand in hand with our grenade. That being Echo of Remnants, increasing the duration of our grenade, Echo of Undermining, allowing our grenade to weaken targets, making them take 15% more damage, and Echo of Instability for those free volatile rounds on grenade kill. This way, you don't have to rely on the seasonal mod, as picking up orbs of power and harder content can be very dangerous and unreliable. We also can't forget about our aspects, Chaos Accelerant that further increases our Vortex Grenade, and Feed the Void that provides us with the Devour for even more grenade energy on kill. If you want to go even further beyond, then you can also use a weapon with Demolitionist, that way you get extra grenade energy on kill. This might be a little bit of an overkill, since we already have the Vower giving us grenade energy on each kill. But if you want to spam even more grenades, then you can always go for it. Let's move on to the aspects, fragments and mods that you want to be using with this build. In your artifact, you want to go for Authorized Mods Void, Authorized Mods Grenades, and then Volatile Flow, Shatter Orbs and Bricks from Beyond are all optional, but they do aid you in your gameplay. Ability wise, make sure that you're going for Nova Bomb, Cataclysm, and then Vortex Grenade. Aspect wise, we are using Chaos Accelerant and Feed the Void. For Fragments, we are using Echo of Remnants, Echo of Undermining, and Echo of Instability. Mod wise, we are going to be using Void Siphon just to create those orbs of power with our Void weapons, and then followed by Double Ashes to Assets, that way our grenades can give us a ton of super energy. Now, if you feel like you need more heavy ammo, then feel free to swap out one of the Ashes to Assets for one heavy ammo finder. On our gauntlets, we are using triple grenade kickstarts, and this is because three of them will provide us with 24% of our grenade energy back by simply using our grenade. This is without any stacks of armor charge. If you have stacks of armor charge, you will get even more grenade energy on top of that. On our chest plate, we are not using charged up because we don't need the extra space for extra armor charges. This means that you can go for triple resistant mods, making you very tanky and very hard to kill. So for example, if you're facing a lot of enemies with solar weapons, then make sure you use solar resistance. You can even go for double solar resistance. On our leg armor, we are using stack on stacks. That way, whenever we pick up that orb of power, we are actually going to be getting two charges instead of one. Now, I like to combine this with recuperation and better already, because I like to play very aggressive. That means that if I spawn an orb of power with my void weapon, I can go in aggressively, pick it up and keep on killing enemies. 
However, if you're more of a passive player, then you can always use surges instead, even though you won't really make much use of them, since most of your armor charges are going to be getting consumed by your grenade. And finally, on our bond, on our class item, we are using empowered finish, which is going to allow us to get two armor charges whenever you finish an enemy. Keep in mind that you have to have zero armor charges when doing this. Now, for the next two mods, you're actually free to use anything you want. For example, you can use Proximity Ward, that gives you an overshield whenever you're finishing, that way you don't die when you're using your Empowered Finish. You can also use Double Bomber mods if you really want to. However, I am not a big fan of Double Bomber mods, because one Bomber mod provides you with 20% grenade energy, whereas two of them only provide you with 25 meaning that the second mod actually only provides you with 5 extra grenade energy. Now, is it worth it? Well, in my opinion, not so much. I would much rather stick with something like Outreach, if you want to also reduce your melee cooldown, a utility kickstart, Reaper, or even Proximity Ward if you need that extra overshield. Weapon-wise, you can use anything you want, but you obviously have to stick to void weapons, that way we can take advantage of the volatile rounds. My personal favorites are Lemon Arc, Unforgiven, and Funnel Web. The way you want to play this build is just like any other grenade build, with the exception that this time you have to charge up your grenades before throwing them. Be careful not to expose yourself too much when charging up your grenade, as it might get you killed. Your grenade is very important here because it will activate buffs like Devour and Volatile Rounds whenever it gets a kill. Volatile Rounds will be exploding your enemies while Devour keeps you alive as well as provides you with grenade energy. Remember that using your Rift will also provide you with extra grenade energy, so if you ever need that extra bit then don't be afraid to pop it. You will be getting your super extremely fast with this build, so don't be afraid to spam it whenever you feel like. Lastly, remember that Devour heals you up to full HP, so don't be afraid to go a bit more aggressive, because you won't die as long as you get kills. And that's it for today's video, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the build, and as always, if you have any questions, you can find me in my Discord server. Have a good rest of your day.